Evet, şalom. Kanunç in name of Yahweh, başım ya şey, başım akapodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. We rule wealth and salute unto the Arkham that contains personal word and truth and sincerity. Now this is a UK paper here called the Telegraph. Um, and um, you know, let's just get into it. And it says Bank of England warns of apocalyptic global food shortage. Governor Andrew Bailey says he's helpless in facing he's helpless in face of surging inflation. Now this has been um plaguing the news of late, you know, and um yeah man, you know, it's undeniable that um shortages are uh, being experienced and um as it intensifies Across the land is going to lead into a declared globalized a global famine okay you know because a lot of these countries are reliant on each other okay so you're gonna be feeling it nationally within whatever country you're in but it's a global issue right now okay so let's read a little bit the governor of Bank of England has warned of apocalyptic global food price rises and said he is helpless in the face of surging inflation as the economy is battered by the war in Ukraine. Now, in fact, you know, I'm going to do it like this instead. I'm going to just pull the precepts as I am. Um, So I don't forget. Alright, this is Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord Jehovah Shem Yahshua is his name. You know, so you've got various things going on across the world. You know, biological warfare, you know, um, you know, the brewing thermonuclear war, you know, wars and rumors of wars. Matthew 24th chapter of it's all orchestrated by the Heavenly Father. So I'm gonna read these articles here. Um the growing war is the this the doing of the Lord, man. Okay. Then he, he's helpless, man. He said he said that he's helpless. That sparked another scripture. Seventeen. This man is by the decree of the watchers, and the man by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the most are ruled from the kingdom of men, and give it to whomsoever he will, and set up over it the basis of men. You know, basis of men is these Edomites. But the point here is that it's the most are ruled. All right. So him feeling helpless. You know, that's that feeling is only being made apparently clear now in the face of. Um, food shortage adversity but it was always the case uh, that these people were helpless man because the most side that rules okay and he decides what happens and when it happens man and the Lord has told his prophets what's going to happen in the book the book of the Lord Isaiah 34 and 16 no one of these shall fail none shall want her mate for my mouth it has spoken and spirit is commanded so <clears throat> these people were always helpless it was always the Lord's you know, doing. Prices are rising at the fastest rate in 30 years, creating a very big income shock that is expected to intensify in the coming months with risk of double digit inflation. <laughs> Crazy. So we're looking at 10% and above um, before the end of the year. Mr. Bailey told MPs on Thursday, Select Committee, that he had increased, he, ha he is increasingly concerned about further surge. In food costs of Ukraine, a major crop grower is unable to ship wheat and cooking oils from its warehouses because of Russian blockade. So you don't want to play that, man. The fuck? Yeah, so, uh, so, um, um the, you see, you see where it's going, man. It's, you know. 
show you the grow fed written oil okay you know and um the black is the uh, curve is the wheat you know The comments from Mr. Bailey are likely to increase pressure on the bank from conservative MPs who are increasingly exasperated that he failed to act sooner. You know, just getting into the nitty grieve back and forth. So he said, she said. But pretty much you get the agenda, man. You get the idea. You know, more in these famines, man. Seven for a nation shall rise against nation. Matthew twenty four and seven. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places, man. You know. So 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 the scriptures tell us what time we're in, we're at the beginning of sorrows in verse eight, man. You know. Fuck, let me pull that um where is it, Isaiah? Sixteen, Isaiah thirty four and sixteen. Seek out the book of the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah and read. None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth have commanded, and the spirit have gathered them. So there you have it, the book of the Lord, man. You know, it, it, it's not failing. <laughs> it's not failing. You know, it tells us of the uh, famines to come. So you know, that's why how I said, be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, man. You know, the heathen is dismayed. Because um, we were told we've been given the eyes out to see. Uh, second, this is 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure out the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past which I've told you before, and shall understand that at the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're seeing the signs come to pass. Okay. So, this is what the beginning of the visitation of Yahweh Hashem Okay. Verse eight. So there you have it, man. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, man. But um, we can clearly see the prophecy is taking place. 